Quinlan was here. Yeah, he helps now and again. Smuggling younglings. Greetings, curious acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to the channel. In the most recent episode, Ben and Leia were attempting to return to Alderaan when they met with a surprise ally who took them through a hidden network known as the Pass, very much like a Star Wars version of the Underground Railroad, but for Force sensitives. Inside the secret access room, Ben found a great many markings and messages on the walls from all those who had previously been there including a message from none other than Quinlan Voss. This is certainly exciting news, as this is the first time that Quinlan Voss has been explicitly given notice in a live-action Star Wars setting. However, in-universe, it means much, much more. For those of you who are familiar with the Clone Wars and the Star Wars books and comics, will know Quinlan Voss very well, and he'll be quite familiar with the wisecracking Jedi Master. Quinlan Voss is a very interesting Jedi who had his ups and downs within the Force itself, not to mention his own qualms with the Jedi Council. Voss was known for being a regular rule breaker and was far more infamous to the Jedi Council than even Anakin was. His skills and missions when he was a Jedi were very similar to that of the Jedi Sentinels. Quinlan Voss would regularly go undercover in order to track down dangerous individuals and ultimately bring them to justice. He was sarcastic, a maverick, and always shot from the hip. This sort of attitude, however, resulted in him breaking a great many of the Jedi tenets, including of that of no attachment. Quinlan Voss ended up falling in love with none other than Asajj Ventress, and briefly even turned to the dark side of the Force, becoming an agent of Darth Tyrannus, or better known as Dooku for a time. Though, following the death of Asajj Ventress, Quinlan Voss was rehabilitated, and his status as a Jedi Master was restored to him as well as his seat in the Jedi Order. As Quinlan still remained a close friend of Obi-Wan Kenobi, it is a known fact that in both Legends and in canon, Quinlan Voss survived Order 66 and the follow-up Inquisition. In Legends, in fact, Quinlan Voss is one of the longest surviving Jedi that we know of. But what happened afterwards? What has Voss been doing this whole time in canon as well as Star Wars Legends? Well, today we're here to discuss both. All we really know about Quinlan Voss in canon is that he apparently faked his own death on Kashyyyk and he would become more of a local Jedi legend. In most of the comics, he was merely mentioned in passing, and people treated his name as legacy and like a ghost. Voss remained a top priority Imperial list despite the fact that he had been reported dead. In Legends, though, we get a little more detail on what happens to Quinlan Voss post Order 66. All we really know about in canon is what we learn about him from Episode 3, that being that he regularly helped smuggle Jedi younglings that survived Order 66, and that he was in fact stationed on the planet of Kashyyyk when Order 66 went down. Beyond this, though, there are no further details on his survival. In Legends, though, our story begins with the droid attack on the Wookiees. Quinlan Voss, Master Yoda, and Luminara Unduli were all there to respond on Kashyyyk. Quinlan Voss, though, had never been a front lines kind of Jedi general, and was much better when it came to stealth and assassinating from the shadows. As such, Quinlan was never surrounded by a great number of clone troopers, but rather mostly ran with the Wookiees, especially since he led the mission with his friends Grok to free all the Wookiee slaves that had been captured by the CIS during the battle on Kashyyyk. Following the mission's success, he ended up being called to the front lines, where he commanded a battalion whilst on top of a tank resting on a platform. This is where Order 66 was initiated. A nearby clone tank turned and fired on the tank that Voss was standing on. Although Quinlan had sustained extensive injuries, his arm being broken and his body being badly burned, he managed to escape within the forest, where he would hide from the clone troopers for several days as they actively hunted him down. This is where Quinlan Voss would gain his true reputation among the clone troopers, as although he was extraordinarily badly injured, he would pick off every battalion that was sent after him one by one, causing many of them to believe that he was in fact the ghost among the trees. In there, it is also believed for a period of time he also embraced the dark side of the force if ever so slightly, using this to terrify the clone troopers even further. During this time, Quidlin had known that Anakin had killed Dooku, as this news had actually reached him on his way over to the world of Kashyyyk. But now, he vowed to hunt down and find the second Sith that caused this great destruction of the Jedi, as he was certain that if the clones betrayed him here, then it was likely happening everywhere in the galaxy, and the Jedi were being picked off one by one. 
As he began on his second path of revenge, he was stopped when a clone commander and some troops were seen killing multiple Wookiees and setting fire to a village in order to draw Quinlan out of hiding, undertaking a process known simply as Order 37 meant to draw Jedi out. It was here that Quinlan Vos realized that if he left, though the Wookiees would continue to be persecuted by the Empire and they would be defenseless against them. Stealing his resolve, Foss leaped into action towards the commander, who shot Quinlan as he cut him down with his lightsaber. The two men fell to the forest floor, where Grok ultimately found them. The clone was dead, but Quinlan Voss was still barely alive, having survived for several weeks in the jungle and now being near fatally shot. Grok would then build a Jedi funeral pyre and burn the clone's body while hiding Quinlan. As the clone battalion came, they saw Grok standing in front of the funeral pyre, and he declared that he had killed the Jedi himself. Voss would later on be taken and healed after eight months, where his new lover would come waiting for him. Fearing that Quinlan had in fact been killed in Order 66, and not having known about Grok's trickery. When she arrived, however, Quinlan was there for her, and she presented him with their son. In Legends continuity, this is where the story of Quinlan Voss ends. However, it is implied that he lived on in secret on the world of Kashyyyk, living out his days and raising his son in the way of the light side. Luke Skywalker would later comment about hearing rumors of Quinlan Voss's survival, but he never really made another appearance. Some have even speculated that Quinlan Voss would venture off of the world of Kashyyyk, especially since the Empire would come to occupy the world and Darth Vader directly would kill a small group of Jedi on the planet just weeks after being confined in his black metal armor. With Quinlan Voss not making an appearance, this implies that it is possible that Quinlan did not stay on Kashyyyk with his family and ventured to another planet entirely. In canon, thanks to the recent episode of Kenobi, it looks like Voss's story didn't actually end here if any of this is still canon. What is canon, of course, is last Voss was seen was on the world of Kashyyyk, and that there were rumors about him. It seems that the Jedi Master of Stealth had made his way into the heart of the enemy territory, and has been aiding and smuggling out Jedi and Force-sensitive children right under the Empire's nose. While exciting, this isn't surprising. Star Wars knows that Quinlan Voss isn't the kind of character to just lie low and hope that the storm eventually blows over. Quinlan Voss would absolutely fight back and help in any way that he could. But, students of the Force, what do you believe of this, and what do you think ultimately happened with Quinlan Voss after Order 66? Do you think that Quinlan Voss can actually appear later on in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, or perhaps even the Ahsoka show? Do you think we'll eventually get to see Quinlan Voss in live action, and what are your thoughts on his survival, and now confirmed survival in Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars canon? Anyway my friends, and students of the Force, thank you guys so much for watching the channel, and stay tuned as we continue to cover Kenobi and and more easter egg. May the force be with you and have a great day.